most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. Great to be with you here on this Wednesday, midway through the week. Slightly warmer today. That's the good news. The bad news is we may have a few showers trying to sneak their way in here, and it is going to be windy. Ali mentioned that before the break, and that is really going to be the highlight here of today. We'll get a few peaks of sunshine this morning, and then the clouds are going to be back again here later today, as has been the case most of the week. 35 in Allentown this morning, 38 in Lebanon and Lancaster. Where it has been cloudy, temperatures are elevated a bit. 45 in Harrisburg, 46 this morning in New York. These numbers don't seem so bad compared to where we've been and where we're going to go because we are going to be back down into the 20s here tonight. But 45 in Chambersburg. And look at Hagerstown, Maryland. 48 degrees. Very warm in that location. And uh, for most of us, this is about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than where we were yesterday. So a huge jump up thanks to the winds and, of course, the clouds, two things that help to keep temperatures well mixed in uh, what we call the boundary layer, the surface layer here. Current winds not impressive right now, just enough out there in some spots to mix that warmer air down to the surface and keep a lot of us in the 40s here to start off this Wednesday. Downtown Lidditz looking quiet early, 39 degrees. So again, temperatures are not bad. Lancaster and Lebanon counties uh, are seeing more numbers in the 30s this morning. A dew point of 26 indicating still a relatively dry air mass at the surface as well. So we're not expecting a lot of rain today. There may be a passing shower, a passing sprinkle as this clipper pushes in, but the bigger story going to be the winds. Meanwhile, elsewhere, it is in the 40s and in the upper 40s for Mercersburg Academy, Tuscarora Junior High School in Mifflintown, both at 47, low 40s at Penn State, Mount Alto and the Country Club of York, also at 41 degrees. And it depends on where you're at this morning. The winds are calm, but uh, there are a few locations where it is still breezy and everybody's going to see the winds kick around later. 35 was the low yesterday, fairly close to the normal of 33, 47 was the high. So uh, it was still uh, decent yesterday, but uh, cooler than normal by a few degrees. And yesterday's rain, none. Uh, we do expect a little bit more in the way of rainfall today, but still not a lot. There's the airport tarmac and temperatures today should make it into the 50s, especially with starting a little bit warmer. But it is going to be all about the winds and we'll get into that in just a bit. But highs getting back to more seasonable levels today. We get a bump in the temperatures out ahead of this front. Uh, but a couple of showers later and some winds really going to make uh, another ugly afternoon out there. Blustery conditions too behind this front for later today and heading into the day on Thursday. Meanwhile, the rest of the country along the south and over in the western part of the uh, U.S., things look pretty quiet as high pressure takes over. So clouds will quickly increase. There could be some rain spritzes. There could be a quick snow shower in spots. You'll notice still most of the day is dry, but the rain will speckle the radar here and there as that clipper pushes through. By late afternoon, it's gone. We clear things out tonight. Tomorrow looks good, but it is going to be a blustery and chilly day with lots of sunshine on Thursday. Friday looks good, at least for the first half of it, and then clouds will start to increase in the afternoon, although this shows skies remaining fairly clear. It's Friday night. We'll start to see the clouds and the rain set up for what I think will be a wet first half of the weekend. So it does turn windy later, 15 to 25 mile an hour winds, and we're going to keep that going tonight and during the day on Thursday. It does look breezy tomorrow. Then I think by Thursday night, the winds calm down a bit. This does show a bit of a breeze returning here from the south Friday afternoon and evening as our next storm system approaches, which will come on Saturday. We'll show you that here with the extended outlook. So the trough does start to weaken. We do turn more seasonable over the weekend and perhaps get a little bit warmer next week as we await the approach of our next storm, which would be Wednesday. So over the weekend and then again on Wednesday, we've got some rain Friday night. The rain will develop Saturday looks wet, but good news. Both uh, long range models now show this storm pooling away Sunday and Monday, giving us warmer weather and perhaps more sunshine. And then another front heads toward us here by next Wednesday. Doesn't look like a lot of rain over the weekend, maybe about a half inch to an inch. Uh, another solid amount, though. We'll keep track of it for you. 54 here today, mostly cloudy, a few stray showers tonight. Getting cold, we dip down into the 20s behind this front, and it is still going to be blustery. So chilly here to wrap up the week. It does look wet on Saturday and then more seasonable here heading into next week now. So the good news mm -hmm. is we'll clear out the second half of the weekend. The bad news is if you have practice tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be fun. Very windy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brett. We'll be right back.